To the right, Shinra HQ, where Hojo should be, along with a cure for Cloud. To the left, Reactor 6, which will get blown up along with Biggs unless I stop him. His hair was long. And gray. Of all the people... Sorry, one more question. Does Aerith... does she have feelings for Cloud? Yeah, she likes him. She does, huh? Can't say I saw that coming. <laughs> Cause you weren't there. <laughs> Hang in there, Cloud. I got you. <laughs> What is this? Are we? <laughs> we could call it a homecoming. Or homeward bound, maybe? <laughs> Let's just call it a dream. My dream, to be precise. What the hell are you... Shh. Just play along for a bit, okay? Take a walk, okay? Ah, one thing. You have to promise not to look up. Hmm? Because I'm pretty sure you won't like what you see. You know I'm gonna have to look now, right? <laughs> right. There I go, putting my foot in my mouth. When will I ever learn? Which one do you want? Whichever one you pick. Why are you acting so weird? Hmm. Well, you are. This isn't you. If you ask hmm? me, I'd probably say, uh, this piece? I don't know. Actually, I'm gonna let him choose. Everything is free. But remember, it's one per person. This is it. 
After much cajoling, Cloud is about to give his very first gift to Aerith. Only question is, which one will he choose? <laughs> That one. Ah, I'm so sorry. I meant everything but that one. <laughs> Tell you what, I've got something else I think you'll love. Come on, man. You know, that's actually pretty neat. Perfect, even. <laughs> you kidding me? I'll miss these moments. Thank you both. <laughs> now, where to next? <gasps> that way. Come on. It's your lucky day, you two. Feel free to take whatever you'd like. Oh, but only one per person. Then we better choose wisely. take one of those then I'll have one of those all right hmm though these aren't the only treats I've got you know how about my latest creation really let's try it sure go on enjoy I'd pull out all the stops for my last hurrah. Guess I pulled out one too many. No, it just needs a little sugar, maybe. Yeah, and take out whatever's making my tongue tingle. It sounds to me like I need to start over. If only we all had more time, am I right? Pretty sure I only asked to meet with Professor Hojo. Not a whole platoon. Whatever. The world's about to end anyway. Got nothing to lose. And everything to gain. Coming through, boys! So this is where you've been hiding, in a world that has accepted its fate. Hey, what's that? Uh, let's go see. Just as you must. <laughs> Sorry folks, I've only got one shot left. Uh -huh. We were next. We've been waiting for yeah. ages. We don't have any photos together. We don't have any either. <sighs> okay, um, how about you all pose? Cutest looking couple gets their photo taken. Uh, 
Okay, you two. Smile real big for the camera now. Hold on, Biggs. I'm coming. <sighs> what gives? Reactor busted? Seems it's all out of Mako. I'm still sucking away, but the only thing it's pulling up is dirt. Uh, meaning? That the life streams bone dry. Bomb one reactor, bomb them all. Planet's done either way. <sighs> and so are we. Run! <sighs> <sighs> Barely made it through testing. Figures it'd fail for real. What am I still doing here? Why did I have to survive? Look at me. I'm useless. Can't even make a damn bomb. You're not useless. For a moment there, I thought my life might have some meaning, but... It doesn't mean shit. Well, that's where you're wrong. Want to know why? Because you mean a lot to a lot of people. So come on, man. Thanks, but... Why are you here? Yeah, about that. Never mind, I know. Kind of obvious now I think about it. World may be ending and all, but... A bombing's still a bombing. That's part of it, too. But mostly, I was worried about you. That bleeding heart. It'll get you killed. I don't know. I just... I wanted to take action. Take charge. Take control. To know that I had a choice. That this path, this world was one I chose. I wanted to take back my life. Hmm. Pigs? Buddy? No. No. Pigs, get up! the road, huh? Fate's got one twisted sense of humor. And I'm always the punchline. But I'm sick of taking it shit! This is my life. I make the rules. Ah! See you never! Why'd you pass on us? Well, for starters, you don't look like you're on a date. More like at a funeral. Well, I don't think that's true at all. Just have fun while you can, huh? See ya. Now then, where shall we go to next? Before that, talk to me. What's going on with this place? With you? And please don't play dumb. All right. I'll tell you when we get to our spot, okay? Where's that? You really have to ask? Mm. It's one of my most favorite places. Can I make it any more obvious? <laughs>
cloud. Biggs. Or Aerith. <sighs> How the hell am I supposed to choose? <sighs> Sephiroth! Hey! You want a piece of me? No, not you. It was all you, wasn't it, Sephiroth? It isn't over yet. I'll find a way. You'll see. This is it, right? Our spot? Bingo. That was easy. I told you it was obvious. Well, you'll have to give me a harder one next time. Oh? Next time? I mean, why not? Yeah. Why not? At least I know now, where you and I stand, I mean. Thing is, Cloud, I really like you. But then, like can mean a lot of different things, can't it? Because there's liking, and then there's... liking. Seriously, what's going on? You've been weird all day. I'm sorry. Whatever happens, don't blame yourself. Thank you. <sighs> Sorry. I'll be okay. Here. Take it. But your mom gave that to you. This isn't about me, though. It's about saving the world, and you. So thank you, Cloud, for everything. What is this?
Behold, the true nature of reality. When the boundaries of fate are breached, new worlds are born. The planet encompasses a multitude of worlds, ever unfolding. Some quickly perish, while others endure. Yet even the most resilient worlds are doomed to fade. Nevertheless, their loss is not to be mourned. For it is not death, but a homecoming that awaits them. And in the planet's embrace, all life is as one. All born are bound to her. Should this world be unmade, so too shall her children. He'd tell you that he only cares about the planet. That he'd do everything in his power to protect and preserve it. But this isn't the way it's supposed to be. Defy destiny together. Seven seconds till the end. Time enough for you, perhaps. But what will you do with it? Let's see. Let go of the past, Cloud. For the future is bright. We are to bear witness to the reunion of worlds. The reunion. I give you my blessing. Long here. Very poor form. Wow. 
we meet again. You're okay. Sephiroth's here. I can feel him watching us. Yeah. But forget about him for now. Just focus on yourself, okay? But I'm fine. Focus on you, Cloud. The one I've been trying to find. The real you. Huh? Leave Sephiroth to me. I can handle him. He's planning to use the Black Materia, but I won't let that happen. He has to be stopped by a Cetra. And I'm the last. Thanks for returning it to me, Cloud. I appreciate it. But now, it belongs with you. It looks empty. Aerith? Aerith! Come back! Please tell me you're okay. I'm fine. Didn't know if it was Marco poisoning or the degradation, but I thought you were done for. 
Sorry to disappoint. Well, you can thank me for the ride later. Gotta find Aerith first. She told us that an ancient city lies just beyond these woods, and that the Cetra built a very special altar there. That's where she's headed, I'm sure of it. Problem is, Sephiroth stole the Black Materia. Meaning he could destroy the entire planet any minute. And Aerith said she's the only one who can stop him. Where is this place? No one knows but her. We got separated in the fog, and... She's out there, all alone. Then we'd better hurry. That way. And how can you be so sure? Sometimes you just know. So, Cloud, I heard something from Aerith. She said Sephiroth kicked the ever-living crap out of you back in the Temple of the Ancients. You heard wrong. Didn't go down like that. Okay. Then how exactly did he get the materia from you? Uh... You don't always have to play the badass, you know. All right, fine. You win. He beat the shit out of me and took the materia. It's my fault. It's kind of mine, too. I should have been there for you, but I wasn't. Must have been some dream you were having, judging by the way your eyes were twitching. Don't know if I'd call it a dream. Either way, something happened to you, didn't it? Yeah. I got sent to another world. Apparently, there's at least a few more than one. <sighs> Is that right? I'd explain, but I don't think I can. It's all right. Doubt I'd want to hear it anyway. Is it just me, or is there something weird about this mist? There is. Do you see them in it too? The whispers? Yeah. I'm afraid to say it, but if the whispers control fate, then does that mean we were destined to be separated from Aerith? Maybe. Uh, why'd I have to open my mouth? Hey, Cloud, promise me, if you start feeling sick or thinking weird thoughts, you'll let us know, okay? Thoughts like... For example, stuff like thinking I'm not the real me. Sorry. You don't have to apologize, but I do want you to talk to me or someone at least. All right, I can do that. I've apologized to everyone else, but not to you, so... I'm sorry for giving the keystone to Shinra. I truly am. I just thought that, since it was so dangerous, I'd rather something happened to one of them than to one of you. No need to explain yourself. <laughs> You're a good man, Cloud. I don't deserve your forgiveness. Oh, I'm still pretty pissed. Just got bigger fish to fry. Right, that makes sense. Still... I'll do what I can to help, and we'll fry those fish together! <laughs> 